down. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Cola Espresso, and today another trailer was dropped by Call of Duty on the Mob of the Dead Zombies map. And this was dropped a couple hours ago, so I am certainly not the first one up to get it on YouTube and a little bit of an analysis. But I want to bring you guys my thoughts, my opinions, and my speculations. There are a lot of little subtle hints that Treyarch threw in here, and that's what I love about Treyarch and their trailers, is that they're just so intricate on the design, so intricate on the storyline, so intricate on the little fine details that you have to pick up. And so we're going to run through this trailer here real quick, and we're going to show you what all I'm talking about. So the greatest part about this intro to this trailer is the fact that they set up a backstory line behind it, which is something that they haven't done in a trailer really before. Um, they love to pay attention to the fine details, as I said, and they start to show off the backstory of our characters, which is awesome. And as they are going through the storyline and character backgrounds, you see all these newspaper clips, and we'll take a look at them. And what is awesome is that in the top left, hidden just behind the blur of the foreground black, you see a headline that partially says, Dead Returns. Now, I've seen some interesting theories on this. I've actually been watching a lot of videos around the community to see the general consensus of what people think. And the one theory that strikes me the most if you're going to play a backstory is one that's believable, one that's plausible, and the one that you can feed the, the players a reality that they can believe. And how you do this is by, in fact, infecting the city, which is what this headline were to suggest, and then also because they're stranded on Alcatraz already, that they somebody brings over the disease, whether they're already infected or they die with it. Um, the somebody gets it and then it just spreads a contagion throughout the entire island. Now let's take a look at the very next newspaper clip. In the top right, you see the headline saying, and I quote, sickness hits hard in the slums. And this is just reiterating the fact that we have on our hands some zombie outbreak or apocalypse that is taking over by biological warfare pretty much. And this can also contribute to that theory that I just stated on how Alcatraz becomes infected with zombies is that it just starts in the city and spreads outward and whether or not they swam or they just like leisurely like floated over or somebody brought it over regardless that doesn't matter because it all started and then got isolated on Alcatraz which is where our four main characters are stranded and trying to get off now getting past this backstory that we do we can see that they show a little bit of a glimpse of Alcatraz Island from the outside and the first thing that strikes me is the red light in the sky now Personally, I don't know what this is. Maybe I've missed something in the news that I've covered um, and it just overlooked uh, what it actually is. But the box itself is a blue light, not a red light. And throughout the trailers, we've seen this light multiple times. And you can see it parallel to the blue mystery box light. So obviously, they want us to see something. Treyarch wants us to notice this red light. And they, they show it parallel to lightning to the mystery box light, and it, it stands out for a reason. What that reason may be, I am not sure at the moment, but I guess we'll find out. Now, another thing that also adds into this thinking about it back um, is that possibly they changed the color scheme because zombies' eyes previously in Die Rise and in Transit were blue, but now in this they are red, so maybe there's something different that they're adding in incorporation for colors and it just changes the box to red. I don't know. We'll see. Now, another thing that stands out to me is that the actual Afterlife logo is right next to a buyable item. So that leads me to believe that it's not something that, like, you can buy extras, like, say, a Quick Revive. You could buy a Quick Revive multiple times if you're playing solo. But to me, this may indicate an area in which something towards the Easter egg, something you can do to help your team, something just in general that deals with afterlife is in that area. And I feel it's a designated spot for something that you do in the afterlife to be done there. So another thing that I caught actually really quickly was a look here at the warden looking guy. He looks to me, just to reiterate how the disease spread in itself, um, 
in the fact that everyone on the island got contagious or got infected, and in the fact that we can now see the everyday life of Alcatraz affected by this outbreak. Now next we see some zombies just flying past you, the hordes going after our four characters, but then what sticks out to me is our armored guard. He was previously, at least I thought, to be the warden, but in this screenshot, it clearly says that he's just a guard, and he's just this chained up guy, he's crazy looking, and he just looks like a badass. And what he has strapped to him is smoke grenades, but do we know what they're actually used for? Does he get to use them? Is this going to be some sort of interaction that the zombies get to actually fight back, if you will, um, that we have not seen from Treyarch yet? I think that'd be pretty cool because it seems like they're trying to turn the tables a little bit on where they're going with just the standard zombie mode. They're trying to incorporate more here, more there, and just make the overall playing time a lot better. Next, we're going to jump ahead and we're going to see our new mode of transportation around the map. The map is similar to what we did in Shangri-La, if you guys remember back to Black Ops 1, where we had the carts carting us around to go to various points in the map so that we could easily escape, so that we could easily reroute, or so that we can just we could just travel around, you know, just have some fun. There are a couple locations that are already confirmed throughout the trailers, but this one only showcases the one, but we know that there's going to be multiple here in the various points in the map, and this is going to be a safe haven for us zombie players. If we get in a corner or we get, like, in a sticky situation, just buy it and we go. Now, they've done stuff like this before with Ascension, with Shangri-La, with all kinds of stuff similar to this and it's something that is really great to the dynamics of the map it offers players something that gives them pretty much a way to escape if they need to and that's something that a lot of fans loved about the maps in black ops 1 is that the maps offered avenues that the that the characters themselves and the players could use to better their situation and another thing that i look so forward to seeing because we didn't see this in the previous trailers but the flaming tomahawk it looks and acts like a boomerang and this boomerang of sorts slices through multiple zombies at once we can see the clip right here and it just demolishes these zombies. These zombies just are just taken out for it. Whether or not the effectiveness will be used in high rounds or whether or not this is something you just get randomly out of the box, something that you have to upgrade, something that is, say, a wonder weapon of sorts, um, I think that'll be all for time to tell. But the actual act that this embodies is just it looks unbelievably cool and i cannot wait to see what this is exactly where we find it and how to use it and the last thing that i want to cover do we have a means to an end here in mob of the dead because you see and if you watch my previous breakdown of the actual official trailer you see that we see our characters trying to escape by building a plane and getting off Alcatraz Island. And the very last scene is them flying on a plane. Do we have a means to an end? Do we have finally a map that will end zombies? Something that you can actually finish and escape with your life? Because obviously all these zombie maps previously have been you just fight zombies until you die and you go down and then you lose. But is this something that if you complete the Easter egg, then your characters are saved you find them salvation I, I don't i don't know but this this is something that would be revolutionary for call of duty and also for the zombies franchise because this would be the first time that we see our characters have a means to an end we would see them have hope in continuing the storyline not only for themselves but for more maps to come. That has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you could leave a like, a comment, and share it to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you are OG like that. All support is greatly appreciated, and your thoughts are definitely welcomed here in this video. And thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Daniel Cole Espresso. Have a nice day, and peace out.